Everybody, welcome back to ConductorPlugin.com. Got another video today. This time we're going to take a look at using the new conductor with WooCommerce, how you can display WooCommerce products on any page or post on your WordPress website. This is WooCommerce, uh, nothing fancy. This is just the store. This is the products that are in here. I just wanted to show you that before we got started. I'm going to head over to the dashboard. I'm going to go to Conductor, I'm going to go to Queries, and then we're going to create a new query by clicking Add New. Now, this is just one way to do it. There's going to be multiple ways to add uh, conductor widgets to a page or conductor queries to a page. We've got a whole bunch of other videos about that over on the website, so make sure you check that out as well. Uh, but let's just say today's top products. Now, the idea that what we're sort of going after here in this example is you might want to have a page where you're showing you know, specific products or the three most recent products in this example. Whatever it is that you want to display, you can do that with conductor. So let's go ahead and say show three. I'm going to move a little fast here because we have a bunch of other videos that explain this in full detail, but the idea, let's, let's show these three WooCommerce products. The display or the display output is what this is going to look like uh, on the front end of the website. So I'm going to say it's going to be three columns because we already know it's three products. And I'm going to hide the WordPress continue reading button and the author byline because those are two uh, sort of standard custom meta fields that, uh, that we don't need for WooCommerce products. And with the WooCommerce uh, add-on activated in Conductor, I can just type in Woo, and that'll pull up the, the custom fields that we can uh, pull into our display. So I'm going to go with Add to Cart, and I'm going to go with Price. And just to make it look a little bit cleaner, I'm going to move Price above Title. And you can kind of see this example building up over here. So the idea of this front-end preview is you won't see it styled, and you won't see all of the posts that you've uh, selected. But what you'll see is just a representation of the uh, content that's going to be displayed. So it gives you just a nice little idea of what that's going to look like, right? So speaking of, I'm going to go ahead and edit this label. Instead of add to cart, I'm going to try to call something a little bit more sort of catchy, a little bit more salesy. So, um, you know, buy these, buy these before they are sold out. That's way too big. <laughs> buy these now. Let's just say buy these now. I'm going to go ahead and save that label. And I'll even change the label on the price. So instead of price, it'll say sale, exclamation point. And you can kind of see that sort of shaping up in the preview just so you get an idea of what that might look like in the front end. So sale and buy these now, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and hit publish. And it'll, what it'll do here is create uh, two short codes, one that will take the actual uh, title of this query if you wanted to include that with the output, or if you just wanted the output, you could copy that. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the keyboard. I already have a page set up. It's called WooCommerce. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to edit this page. And I'm going to drop in that short code. So paste it in. I'm going to hit Update. And then we'll preview the changes just to make sure that our three products are there. And those are our three products uh, with our buy these now labels with the sale label next to the price. And of course, when we click on one of these, it'll bring us right to the product page uh, of our WooCommerce store. You know, the idea again is you could set up a sales page. You could that, you know, that's highlighting a certain amount of, of products. And even if you're writing a blog post, let's say about, you know, your Again, your top products uh, of the store or new products that are featured this month. You could write an entire blog post sort of around these short codes and, uh, you know, add in that conductor short code and that'll pull in those products. And people could be buying these. Oops, I thought I had the preview open. People could be buying these products right from within your, right from within your blog post, right? Again, on any page or post uh, of your WordPress website. So pretty powerful stuff. I showed you how to add that with a short code um, using the query builder. The same can be done if you are actually already in this blog post. So if you are already in this blog post, you can click on add conductor, either select from a whole bunch of queries that maybe you've already created and saved or create a new one right here on the fly and insert that right into your blog post. Um, so those are the two ways to do it with a query builder. Let's take a look at one more way. And this is the more traditional way with Conductor. And that means it's, it takes over the entire page. And with our Note plugin, you can do some fun stuff with it. So let's just go ahead and conduct this page. I'm going to go to Conductor Layouts. I'm going to select the full width layout. What that does is takes over the entire, um, takes over the, the entire page, right? So the page is still there if I click on Disable. You know, the content's still there, so you can always revert back. But if you want to use Conductor to create a sidebar here, 
uh, you can do that. So I'm actually going to pull in a conductor widget. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to pull in the uh, other widget here. So let's just go page content, add widget, query widget. Let's use the one I just created, today's top products. So there is a conductor widget um, that will pull in the uh, queries that you've already saved, or I'll just do it one more time just so you can see it, or you can do a complete conductor query build right here, but we're not going to do that. What we are going to do, let me get rid of that before we continue. What we are going to do is add in a note widget. And just to show you an example of something, uh, let's say we have a, let's go with, uh, I don't know, let's go with this one, media left content right. This is what makes Conductor feel like a page builder. Because if we take over the entire page, what we can do is use our free note plugin to create these drag and drop uh, front end editable call to action areas. And there's a whole bunch that you can pick from, multiple columns. Um, and if you're using our baton theme, you get some other uh, ones that it unlocks. But for the most part, you can just come in here and say, check out our great sale. Add some description, description text here. And then in this one, for example, we can pull in an image. So do, 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 I don't know, let's just grab this one, insert there, and that'll put it here. And let's go ahead and center that. Uh, so now what you're able to do is build like this little mini drag and drop uh, layout without the need of an entire page builder, right? Um, there's other videos out there that I've created that sort of compare and contrast conductor with page builders, that kind of thing. Uh, but it, all this is two, widget, two widgets, right? And your you could add more note widgets if you wanted to, to add some other call to actions, uh, maybe some other WooCommerce products, even blog posts if you wanted to say, check out some other blog posts. You could do that. And again, it's without all of that, uh, all the fuss of having an entire page builder uh, load it up on your site. If you wanted to revert, get away from that, no problem, go ahead and hit disable, and that'll bring your uh, original content page back. Uh, again, I'll just activate it one more time just so you can see it. These are just two widgets. Click this to edit it. It'll pull up the note widget, and I can drag and drop this stuff around. This is just WordPress. This is nothing that we're doing um, you know, outside of the box. This is core WordPress, compatible with the WordPress customizer. It's pretty neat. Thanks for watching. It's conductorplugin.com. This is just a short example, short, long example of using WooCommerce and Conductor Plugin. If you have any other, any other questions, conductorplugin.com. Thanks, everybody.